In this question, we're going to take the limit as x goes to 1 of the expression shown. This is going to involve two different types of rationalizing. We want to rationalize a difference of cubes, and we want to rationalize a difference of squares. Well, rationalizing the difference of squares is easier for most people. Um, if the square root of x minus 1 is one of the factors, then the square root of x plus 1 is the other factor. And since we multiply the denominator by that factor, we have to multiply the numerator by that factor as well. It gets interesting because we have to consider the cubed root of x minus 1 as one of our factors as well. If we're thinking of the cubed root of x minus 1 as a factor, we need to start thinking a little bit about the difference of cubes. If a cubed minus b cubed is our expression, we can factor that to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared, and we're going to think of a minus b as the cubed root of x minus 1. We're going to let a be the cubed root of x, and we're going to let b equal 1. Well, that would mean that a squared is the cubed root of x squared, which is x to the 2 thirds, ab is 1 times x to the 1 third, and b squared is 1. So we're going to introduce a factor of x to the 2 thirds plus x to the 1 third plus 1 to the numerator to complete the difference of squares and to the denominator as well, just out of fairness. Okay, now in the numerator we have the cubed root of x minus 1 times x to the 2 thirds plus x to the 1 third plus 1. The cubed root of x times x to the 2 thirds is x. The cubed root of x times x to the 1 third is plus x to the 2 thirds, plus x to the 1 third, minus x to the 2 thirds, minus x to the 1 third, minus 1. So we've created the factor of x minus 1, and we still have this other factor of the square root of x plus 1 as well. In the denominator, using difference of squares, we've created the factor of x minus 1, and we still have this factor of x to the 2 thirds plus x to the 1 third plus 1. Well, our offending factor was x minus 1. So, crossing that out, we have the square root of x plus 1 over x to the 2 thirds plus x to the 1 third plus 1. From here, we can substitute an x value of 1 into our expression, and our ultimate answer is 2 thirds.